one of the first things that you actually need to do um, is update the firmware on this thing. Uh, almost all of these ship with firmware that's already three or four months out of date and the updated firmware will give you pretty massive improvements to the reliability of the printer, its consistency with temperatures and some of the other settings as well as give you more connectivity options. The only way to update the firmware is by putting the firmware files on an SD card, uh, micro SD card. The one that comes with it is fine, but that does mean that you'll need some way to read a micro SD card in your computer. So let's get started with the SD card and how to flash the firmware. Next step, I have put the SD card into my PC here. It'll pop up and you can see there's the couple of G-code files that it comes pre-installed with. There's the installer for Cura, although it's a slightly out of date version. So we won't be using any of those right now, uh, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna put the firmware that we need to update on the printer onto our SD card. So on the left here, you'll see this Google Drive folder, kind of the community-driven Google Drive share that has lots of good stuff on it. You'll probably be coming back here for lots of things in the future. Right now, we're just gonna grab the firmware, so double-click into the firmware folder. If the folder doesn't show up, uh, you can see the instructions here. Do Control F5 or go into incognito mode in Chrome. There's some issue that's been happening lately with Google Drive and Chrome. Alternatively, if you use Microsoft Edge, it actually works great. You'll notice that there's two folders in here, one for motion controller and one for the LCD or UI. And they're actually two different firmwares. So we need to update both of them uh, in order to bring the printer up to date. So within the motion controller, we're gonna go to version 22. And you can see this update version 22.bin. I'm going to select it and then choose to download it. And there we go, update version 2.22.bin. And then we're going to go up and go into the UI LCD controller folder and to version 39. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to select LCD version 39. We're going to choose to download it. And now I'm going to bring these two files over into our SD card, just copying and pasting them over. They're both really small, so you don't really have to worry about running out of space. And then we need to name them appropriately. If I click into the instructions for the LCD version, it says basically just to rename the file from LCD underscore ver39 to just lcd.bin. And so we're good with that one. And then if I come to the motion controller folder, similar instructions in here, except this is just saying to rename the update version 22.bin to update.bin. So let's do that. Okay. Now we'll take the SD card out of the computer. There we go. And now we can come around and actually update on the printer here. So I've got a cord that I brought over so we can actually plug this guy in for the first time. So let's get started with that. Power brick on this thing is really straightforward. Um, just to show you, this is the power connector in the back. So just plugs into there. Plug power brick in and plug it into our electrical outlet. There we go. Blue light comes on, that means you've got power. The power switch is just right next to the switch on the back. So we'll do that to turn the thing on. 
and there we go. You notice the LCD screen comes up really quickly. The SD card goes face up into the side here. Um, you may need a little something to get it pushed all the way in because it actually goes in further than the, um, the edge of the printer. Let's see if I can, okay. And it'll click into place once it's in, okay. So then the next thing we're gonna do is actually come to, there we go. We're gonna use the, this dial switch here um, and we're gonna move it to the print option. All right, and then you click the dial in. You'll see that it's now loaded up the SD card. And the first thing that we're gonna go down to is update.bin. Let me click on that. And you can see it said it was updating. Let's see now. Let's give that one more go. After a whole bunch of hassle and trials and errors, my recommendation for how you flash the motion controller firmware is just to go ahead and do the recovery method rather than using the menu-based method. Um, I've tried a whole bunch of stuff and never got the menu-based method to work on this printer. On my other Mini Select, it worked just fine, but this one works every time. So I copied the update underscore version 22.bin to the SD card. And then you just need to copy any file to the SD card that's bigger than one megabyte. So I'm just copying the cat.g code back over. And then we're gonna follow the recovery instructions here and just rename this file to fcupdate.flg. Yes, we want to change the extension. So now that that file is on here, when we put it back in the printer and turn the printer on, it will force an update automatically and we will be good to go. Okay, so I have added a new file to the SD card called fcupdate.flg, which will put the printer in a recovery mode and force the update.bin that's found on the SD card to be installed. So let's give that a go, see if it finally gets us there. There we go, so that forced it. So I'd recommend out of the box just doing that the first time. Uh, it'll save you a little bit of headache that I just had to go through. Uh, my other Select Mini worked with just copying the file over and selecting it from the print menu, but this works every time. The one caveat is once you've done this, you need to turn the printer off, remove the SD card, and manually remove the fcupdate.flg file as well as the update.bin just to make sure that those are cleared off the card. So we got it turned off. Let's pull this out and come back to the computer and remove those from the card. The LCD update is a little bit more tricky. So in order to do that, uh, I've got the unit powered off right now. What we actually need to do in this case is we need to push the carriage for the x-axis all the way in and you'll hear it click in when it gets close there's a 
little stop switch in there. So you need to make sure that that's pushed all the way in and that it stays depressed in. And we're gonna slowly slide the Y carriage back until we hear it pressed in. And so I'm actually gonna need to hold both of these in to make sure that they stay in and then push down on the dial button. And with all three of those down, we're gonna turn the printer on. Now, because it has that lcd.bin file on it, it'll automatically, this puts it into that mode to upgrade the LCD controller. Go. And now we wait. You heard the fans turn on, then they turn back off. Now it's reset. So it's upgraded. So that's good.